How will today's Excel tip enhance your data analysis? Join us in this detailed tutorial from our expert trainer who walks you through each step. Let's get started. In this set of lessons, we're gonna talk about formulas and functions in Excel. Now, the first thing to note about formulas and functions is that they all start off with an equal sign. Every time you're gonna do a formula or a function, you need to type out an equal sign. So let me go ahead and illustrate an example. Now I'm gonna go over to here to J15, and I'm just gonna type out 100 plus 200. Now when I hit enter, you're gonna notice here, nothing really happens. Now if I double click inside here, and I put an equal sign in front of it, and I hit enter, you're gonna notice now I get my formula and I get the product of that formula. Now, if I click on it and I come way up here, you're gonna notice here is the actual formula in the formula bar. Now, if I double click on the cell that I just put it in there, I will also see that formula. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Now, let's go ahead and do a formula using our data that's pre-existing on this sheet here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a formula in a kind of a manual way where I'm going to add up these numbers. So you'll notice here on the right-hand side, I have all of these operators here. I have plus sign for adds, a hyphen for subtracts, a forward slash for divides, and an asterisk for multiplied. So let's go ahead now, go over here to B7. I'm gonna do equal sign, and then instead of actually saying 15,000, I'm going to click on B4. Now watch what happens now, because this is now an active cell. It's waiting for me to put in a formula. I click on it, and then notice how B4 now comes in. I'm gonna do another plus sign, click on B5, notice how that comes in, hit another plus sign, and then simply click on the last one, and then notice how they are color-coded to match their corresponding cell. I'm gonna hit Enter. Now, if I double-click on this now, you're gonna see that formula once again. Now, it's important to understand that with Excel, when you are creating formulas, you are linking up to the original cell that the formulas have to do with. Well, why is that? Well, let's just say, for example, per Cobain had some new numbers that came in. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a little bump from 15,000 to 30,000. I'm gonna hit enter. And now notice, because this cell is linked up to this cell with its formula, it automatically updates. Beautiful. So let's go ahead now and do a variation on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just double click to go back into here, and I'm gonna add on some multiplication. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put a parentheses that's going to group these three numbers, and then I'm gonna multiply it using my asterisk times 0.1, in other words, 10%. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter, and you'll now notice that 10% of that 70,000 is 7,000. If I double click on that again, you'll see how my formula is set up there. I've grouped together all three of these numbers so that 70,000 is grouped together as one part of my formula multiplied by that 10%. Now, the reason why we did that is because we don't want Excel to get confused and think that I'm multiplying B6 times the 10%, so I had to encapsulate these inside of those parentheses. I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter now. Now, for quarter two, I'm gonna show you how you can use something called auto sum. Now, auto sum is gonna create what we call a function. So earlier, what we did was we just added up these individual cells, all their corresponding numbers, and then we combined it with another number that's not a cell by multiplying it. But this time, I'm gonna do something a little bit faster and a little bit easier. So if we move our mouse way over here to the upper right, you're gonna see here is this little sigma, and it says automatically add it up. Your total will appear after the selected cells. Well, that's a very, very important thing to understand because as we saw with our formatting, you have to select it to affect it. Well, if I select these three numbers, you're gonna see here, if I choose auto sum, it's going to add them all up very quickly and easily. So all I do now after they're selected is click on my little sigma icon and just like that, it's added it up. Now, if I double click inside of the cell, you'll notice I'm gonna see something a little bit different. Instead of doing plus signs, I have this equal sign and then I have sum, which is a function, and I have C4 colon C6. Whenever you see a colon, it just basically means through 
C6 or whatever it is, right? So if this was a lot of cells, this could be really nice shorthand to save me a lot of space and a lot of time. So essentially it's adding up all three of these. Now, if I were to change these numbers here, let's go ahead and do 35,000 for this one. And now notice again, these cells are linked up. Really, really nice. Now let's come over here to average, but this time I'm going to type out the formula. So, but this time I'm going to type out the function. I'm gonna do equal sign, and then I'm just gonna just start typing A, V, E, R. Now you'll notice that a whole bunch of what we call IntelliSense pops up. Basically it's allowing us to say, hey, what formula might you be using? What function might you be using? Now average is coming up, it's coming up in blue. So very easily I could either double click on it or I can hit the tab key and then that starts off my function for me. Now, very simply, I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight all three numbers, and then I'm just gonna hit enter. Notice I do not have to close out the parentheses. I hit enter, and then bam, there you have it. Let's do another one. Let's do equal sign and count. Hit the tab key, and then this time, I wanna count all of these, right? Everything but the total. So I'm just gonna highlight all of them. And if you look at the formula, it's now going B4, through E6, every single one of these. And now I'm gonna hit enter, and you can see I have 12. But let's go ahead and remove some of these. Now I have nine. So it's always, always updating dynamically. Now living inside of this auto sum, you're gonna see that there's a little drop down, and you do have the ability to auto average, auto count numbers. If you wanna know the maximum of a range or the minimum number of a range, you can go ahead and choose those as well. And then likewise, you'll notice here is this FX. Now, if I have something here, for example, and I wanted to learn more about this formula, I can click on FX, and you're gonna see here, it's going to say, hey, listen, here is the average, and then here is a description of it. But I also have the option to put in my formula kind of longhand if I wanted to. And let's go ahead and go to my auto sum this time. And I'm gonna go over here, go to effects, and then notice how the sum option now appears. And you can see here is the number, and you can see the ranges right there. And likewise, it gives me all a nice little description of them, and then everything else that's part of that formula, and as well as showing me the result for it. Now, if you like to, you can go even deeper and get help on a function, and that's gonna take you to the Microsoft website. You can learn more and more and more about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this and just show you one last thing about these formulas is that if you wanna go even deeper into formulas, there is in fact a formula tab and you can see that there's this function library and you will see that there's auto sum once again and it breaks it down into these different categories. Now many of these are very, very advanced even beyond an intermediate or an advanced class but it's worth checking them out and learning more about them. And again, going onto the Microsoft website to go even deeper. Are you happy with this training? Make sure to subscribe for more great content. Don't let your momentum stop here. Check out our recommended playlist for more helpful videos to boost your skills.